the walled city, inside the walled city, mm -hmm. we're safe from barbarians and chaos, but then the negative side is that we're also trapped inside the walled city. Sure. Okay. But without the walls, you're destroyed by the barbarians. Mm -hmm. So an ordered structure and a certain model of relationship, all of that is what constitutes the great father. Mm. But the benevolent father must make sure that the hierarchy doesn't become so steep as to become unclimbable. Mm. Right? So yeah. that's, I think that speaks to what has been happening for the last many years in this country for you think it's become certain, more and more certain groups of people the hierarchy yeah. i mean on the one hand you could say that um if i try to separate things out here and i'm going to try to do this without being political mm -hmm. you you can have all the agency reside in the system or you yeah. can have all the agency reside in the individual it's well put yeah so if if all the agency resides in the system then it's not my fault <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know yeah yeah um but if all the agency resides in me then why is it that i just can't make my way out of here right and maybe it's because sometimes the the mountain is just too high for some people yeah. uh for some reasons yeah there are, there are reasons that cause the hierarchy to become too steep mm -hmm. the 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 um the hoops you have to jump through and the effort required to get up the ladder are just mm -hmm. too complicated too difficult you know yeah. regulations can do that um um situations that that incentivize poverty mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. do that all yeah. of these things can make the hierarchy too steep so i just wondered if you might want to speak into that yeah that's an interesting observation i think i think the way i think of it is like the the individual and the society and the community surrounding the individual and the nation at large and it's like i hear i get what you're saying in the sense that um if if a person is raised for example in a in a home that's destructive uh and is not given the necessary tools for their own you know maturation and spiritual edification and the tools with which to even view the world in a in a net positive as opposed to a net negative mm -hmm. then they're already disadvantaged in that sense uh and then when they encounter society they will see they will encounter society through that lens which will create a self-fulfilling pro which will likely create a self-fulfilling prophecy of course there's always like the potential for the interruption of that process right because a mentor can randomly come into that person's life or, but that notwithstanding if a person um you know encounters society with that perspective that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy uh and then the negative aspects of their life can sort of redound all the way down um and so so many things are i think a lot of this is the individual agency acting with the agency of the system simultaneously and the tension between the two and so i think you would have to ask the question well how do you how, how is it that you can balance those two things um because i don't think the agency exists I don't think all agency exists within the individual and I don't think all the agency exists within the system, whatever that means. It's sort of weird when, when I hear about like the system as a sort of disembodied thing as having like no impact uh, or as have, as not being impacted by the human beings that make up the system. Like that's a very strange concept to me. Um, but I understand that things take on their own sort of a way of being. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, certainly if you, if I were to sort of like look at the state of education in the country, look at the state of economic inequality in the country um, and other various issues, and then you put COVID-19 on top of it and you sort of exacerbate it because of what's happening with a lot of the unemployment. And then you, and then you put the impact of the media or some of the media in it, which 
is incentivized, I think, from a financial perspective to actually just broadcast um, tragedy <laughs> constantly yeah. and division constantly because it gets a lot of clicks and it gets a lot of eyeballs. And that's an, that is an example of agency in the system, I think, becoming too overpowering if you're already an individual that hasn't had the upbringing that would give you the tools to be able to see the the beneficial aspects of the society that you live in then yeah it can really it can collapse on its on its own weight i think um and i know peterson says like you know the walled city is safe except for the it's safe from the barbarians outside, but there are always the barbarians within, right? Yeah. There's a barbarian within yourself, right? Um, so one must always be on guard. Um, and this is, this is why, for me, like, it's so important. A lot of people are talking about, like, you know, reforming the system and changing the system. I believe in sy system reform, but no one is talking about reforming the system within themselves, no one is talking about being on guard so that the barbarian within themselves doesn't rear its ugly head and then like contribute to a lot of the negative things that we're discussing. So both conversations have to be ha happening simultaneously. Well, it's so interesting because when you were describing the news media, yeah. just the language that you were using, my immediate image that I got in my mind was worm tongue. As he stands behind the oh, yeah. king, whispering evil thoughts into his head. That's just, Wait, this is from Lord of the Rings. From Lord of the Rings, King yeah. Theoden of Rohan is yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like oh yeah, like this all the time because Wormtongue is always yeah. telling him all these negative things, and so he's he's just grown to believe it. He's he's become completely enervated and, and right. sleep and and given up, completely hopeless, and. And that's exactly the role that the media plays. They're, yeah. they're just always putting these lies in our ears, making us believe the worst of everything about everybody. Yeah. And uh, it, yeah, it taps all the energy and creativity out of the, the society, out of the culture, out of the individuals, and yeah. people feel hopeless, right? Yeah, it's very unfortunate, because one of the conversations I had with my friends was that it's not like positivity doesn't sell. <laughs> I mean, I like positivity 